Hey guys, this is Brooke here with The Babbling Brook, and today I want to share super awesome cooking tips that I think are really, really helpful in the kitchen. I come across these cooking tips um, on TV shows or just being in the kitchen and noticing things that work really well, and I've written them down and I really want to share them with you. Number one, always salt watery vegetables before you use them in a recipe. This is called sweating. Vegetables like squash is really, really full of water, and when you put them in a recipe, they release that water, and then it can make your plate kind of wet and disgusting. For instance, omelets. The other day I went out to eat, and I had a vegetable omelet with zucchini in it, and they didn't sweat the vegetables beforehand, so what I got was an omelet that was full of water at the bottom of the dish. Really gross. Number two. Let all of your protein come to room temperature before you cook it. That includes tofu for you vegans and vegetarians. The thing about letting the meat come to room temperature is that it cooks more evenly and you're able to get that nice crust on the outside without it burning and without the inside being cold or underdone. Number three, using vinegar in barbecue recipes reduces the amount of carcinogens that end up in the final product. Number four, always try to cook your protein before you chop them. So if you're looking for diced chicken in a recipe, I suggest cooking it through first, letting it rest, and then cutting it. That way the entire piece of meat really soaks in all of those flavors and all of those juices before you cut it. Number five, always roll your citrus before you use it. So whether you have a lemon or a lime or an orange or grapefruit, roll it on the table underneath your palm first to release some of those fibers in there and make it a lot easier to juice, which means you get more juice out of it. Number six, if you have super clumpy, dry brown sugar, put it in a jar and place a moist paper towel underneath the cap, screw it on, and the next day it'll be nice and soft. Number seven, if you have limp carrots or celery that are kind of wobbly and losing their shape, soak them in water for a little while and that should spring them back to life. Number eight, ripen your avocados in something that has them stand up. If you throw them all into a bowl together, it really increases the chance of them bruising, which can obviously be disgusting. We all like our avocados clean and green and beautiful and not brown and gross. Number nine, you all see the videos where you you place a whole bunch of garlic cloves in a bowl and put another bowl on top and shake. It really does work. I suggest doing this instead of smashing it because every time you smash it on the counter, which I do quite a lot, it releases all of those juices and all of the fragrance from the garlic and it gets all over everything for one. And for two, you actually lose some of that garlicky flavor. Ten. If you're using a cast iron skillet, make sure that it comes to a high, high heat before you sear something. That skillet really does all the work for you, but you really have to let it heat up first before you do it. Okay guys, those are my 10 tips for the kitchen. You can use them for whatever you like. I just think they're super helpful and I know that they've changed my life in the kitchen and I hope they change yours too. All right guys, see you next time. Don't forget to stay in the loop and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And sign up for my newsletter. And of course, subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on awesome new videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I can't wait to share with you. Bye.